Hey the game fans! March 2019 really surprised me with a slate of fantastic games and while generally stronger on the early access front, there are a couple of clear-cut masterpieces released last month. As always, we will start with some quick picks worth checking out. We the Revolution is a strategy game that has you playing as a judge during the French Revolution. An excellent example of how art styles can make games stand out, the polygonal look is certainly unique and with a whole host of politically interesting moves that you can make, this is certainly one to check out. Unheard is a detective game where you use audio clues to solve mysteries. The usage of audio clips and recordings, in contrast to clues that you click on on screen, is very clever and I think that this represents a step forward in detective games in a similar way to how her story brought back the use of FMV. TikTok A Tale for Two is a cross-platform co-op point-and-click adventure game that seems to be very cleverly put together. Work together with another person in experiencing this mystery where it certainly takes two hands to clap. Rico is a procedurally generated FPS with a cell shaded art style and plenty of buddy cop shenanigans. This certainly isn't some self-serious shooter with a gritty story or anything of the like, but rather places action at the forefront and is a silly fun time. And finally, production line Car Factory Simulation is basically factorial but for cars and appeals to that inner efficiency geek in all of us. You know the drill by now, plan your production lines, automate, tweak and optimize to get the highest efficiency and largest profit. Moving on, here are the top 5 best indie games for March 2019. So Outward might not be strictly classified as indie given its publisher, but regardless, this is an expensive open world RPG with survival elements where your character is simply a normal person that chooses the life of adventure. While the world is still brimming with magical creatures and horrifying monstrosities, being a regular person in this world would perhaps be more relatable than playing as an all-powerful demigod so you have to use traps and to play smartly in order to survive. Very clever and very well received despite some rough ages. If war must be fought, then the Wildlanders will be victorious! Let me free you from this unbearable condition called life. <laughs> this land will crush you, and I will be its hand. War Party is a classic RTS game set in a mythical Stone Age that certainly has influences from Warcraft, Starcraft and Age of Empires. Indie game developers are perhaps at the forefront of RTS development since no AAA studio is willing to touch the genre, but this looks like a classic true to form one of these. This has a trinity of factions, each with unique buildings, units and so on, together with a campaign for each as well. Having dinosaurs and magic in your game is a huge plus, so since it launched out of early access last month, here's your heads up for RTS fans.
Grimshade is a Japanese-style RPG inspired by the classics and takes place in the land of Rifa, where monsters have invaded the forest surrounding the city and the king and his champions have vanished, forcing a ragtag band of characters to act. I love the look of the game, which is really quite pretty, due to the combination of the cell shading and lighting. Characters don't level up, and progression is based on equipment, which is a very fascinating choice. Man, Hypnospace Outlaw really is something else, a perfect distillation of the internet in the 90s. This has you browsing a bunch of geocities like pages to identify content violations, and while the task itself is relatively mundane, I would say a solid 70% of the fun is stumbling upon, reading and experiencing the weird and unique content in this game. I mean, just listen to this. Butter. Mix it with the ice cream. Freeze it up, cool, you can see it on your screen. Put it in your microwave, make it real hot like a soup or a dip. We call it heat and sip. Very tasty and healthy too. Granny creams, hot butter ice cream. Steam Workshop support will be added in the coming months, so that's even more content to browse, and the developers themselves are going to add more stuff as well. Happy for the team, so here's to more internet weirdness. Finally, Baba is You has been one of the best puzzle games that I have played hands down. While set up like a traditional, block-pushing Sokoban style game, the twist is that the rules of the game are laid bare in front of you, and you can push and manipulate these blocks to change the rules of the game on the fly, which can lead to some ingenious puzzle-solving moments that make you feel both extremely smart and dumb at the same time. In summary, I am dumb, game is good, and Baba is you. Bonus points for the pun, taking the number one spot of the month. For more of the best indie games, do check out the previous episode or check out my recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.